All right, everybody, welcome to Finish Strong, Start Fresh, Colorado Christian University's new series with encouragement as we close out this chapter of 2020 and enter into a new chapter coming 2021. Is anyone else super excited and expectant of what God's going to do? I sure am. Uh, look, I've, I've been a veteran um, now for about 15 years, and I've been pastoring a church for about seven years, and uh, I am really excited to talk to you today about a, a principle in the kingdom that I think is very, very important, and it all centers around this one word. This one word is community. Now, don't turn off, because I know you probably have heard this word over and over, and we know how important community is, but um, I just want you to lean in and, and really let uh, maybe God speak to you today about his passion and his heart for community. Let's go over to uh, the book of Romans. The Apostle Paul speaks a lot about community because it's so important, right? God's big plan was to have a family and that that family would get together and belong together and unite together and change the world, right? So let's check out what the Apostle Paul says, a uh, real small verse here in chapter 12. He says this, so we, though many are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. Isn't that a great verse? Isn't it amazing how Paul was recognizing the principle of us needing to be a team, working together as a team? So out of this verse, I want you to think about three different principles when it comes to community. And number one is unity. Unity is huge. And the Old Testament talks about God commands blessing where there is unity. That's right. When a team works together, what happens? They just win. They are the ones that get the trophy because they had such good teamwork. So the Lord knows that like when we work together, we get to love people better. We get to serve our city better. We get to advance the kingdom further because we're working together as a team and as one. So be a good teammate and stay in unity, right? Number two principle I want you to think about with this concept of um, within community is accountability. Accountability is oftentimes not our favorite word. I get that. But accountability is huge. I often say this, iron sharpens iron. You might know where I stole that from. Isn't that a great verse, right? Iron sharpens iron. You're not meant to be in community and just be doing your own thing and not growing. In fact, I would say this, God often wants to grow you and continue to take you from glory to glory, like the Bible says, through the sharpening of the people around you. That's right. They're meant to hold you accountable. They see the beauty in you. They see the gold in you. They see what the, the future that God probably has in store for you. And part of their job is to hold you to that, right? So number one is unity. Number two is accountability. And lastly, is that I want you to, when you think of community, I want you to think about being anchored in Christ. As you saw in that verse in Romans chapter 12, it said that we're one body in Christ. There's all kinds of different types of communities, all kinds of different types of teams on a mission. But what's unique about the church is that we are a community anchored in Christ, right? So look, as you, I hope that uh, you found encouragement in today's, today's teaching. I hope that you will be excited and passionate about the community that God's found you in that you will be looking to further unify with your church family, be open to that accountability process, and remember that you, you are blessed because you found a community that's anchored in Christ. I pray that the community that you are in will continue to work together in unity to advance God's kingdom more and more for the glory of Jesus Christ. My name is John Wickham, and this is Finish Strong, Start Fresh. We'll see you next week.